The first game jitters are gone now, Dick. Both of these teams are looking to settle into their comfort zone in this second round matchup between the Memphis Tigers and the Duke Blue Devils. And of course, we look here at our star watch. And of course, here's our starting lineup. As long as these two point guards are on the court, the ball is going to be in good hands, Brad. And it's time for the tip off. The Blue Devils win possession, and they're up and running. Gave it up. In the lane. Can't connect. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up, and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior, and they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. Both teams looking to get things going here. For two. Off the glass and no good. On the left side. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from the top of the circle. And he missed. Look at that spacing. but he missed the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Hurt picks up the foot. He gets the foul, and the layup will count, Dick. Hey, way to play strong, my man. Way to play strong. Baker makes his first substitution. I'll tell you what I like about him, Brad. He brings all kinds of energy to the floor. Another great sophomore right here, Dick. Well, Brad, he's still mature. If you're on the class, when it's about improvement day by day, year after year. Gave it up. Goes up with a shot. It almost looks like they got a lid on the goal, Dick. Nothing has fallen for it. Wow, are they struggling, Brad, with a capital S. I don't think any of them are concentrating right now. There's the trap. They work it back to the outside. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. And here's a look at the first-year play. You know, playing at this level can be a tough adjustment for some kids. Others make the jump look easy. It all depends on what kind of team you have around you and how hard you are willing to work to get better. Yes, two at the charity strike. Traps in place, Dick. Too physical. Goes to the free throw line. Misses the free one. Second shot is no good. Double team now, bad angle. He shoots from left of the circle. Number two is called for the foul. He has a chance to cash him in. He hits his first. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Shooter spotting up on the three. On the dribble, gives it up, puts up the J, and come up short. Try 
tries for two. And he misses the shot. Boyce receives the ball. The missed shot. He attempts the jump shot. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. Up and inside. Puts it up. Jumper didn't look pretty. I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. That's a breakdown. That'll drive a pitch bananas. I'll be to lose your hair. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Now looking to create with a ball screen. And a pick and roll is one play that so many teams use these days. A great way to buy a step for the dribbler. With a deep shot from outside. Off the mark. Pushes it up. He bombs from outside. Nope. Gave it up. He shoots from the corner. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's doing it all right now for this team. It will be interesting to see if he can keep this up. On the right side. Foul charge. That layup will count for two, plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball, going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. Number 25 is going to the charity line. He can't get one to fall. On the outside. Stop and pop. Ten to shoot now. Missed it. The Blue Devils can definitely be classified as an up-tempo team. Wouldn't you agree with that, Dick? They definitely want the run, Brad. They want to run faster and longer than their opponents every time they step on the court. It's a style of play which is tough to keep up with. Well, this is now one of the better free-throw shooting teams in college basketball, that's for sure. Well, if you want to win those close games, Brad, you better make free throws. If you want to win championships, there's only one way. You better make free throws. He misses the second shot. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from downtown. Can't get the shot to go. Number 42 is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Well, this is now one of the better free throw shooting teams in college basketball, that's for sure. I tell you, that's a bad characteristic to have. When you got guys that are brick sitting on the line, it makes the coach lose some hair, baby. Both free throws go. perimeter takes the jumper he's taking a lot of bad shots out there Dick I know he's trying to catch fire Brad but it's just not there both teams are looking to get something going here the shooting guard handles the pass inside he fouled him
The Tigers, not the greatest free throw shooting team, Mr. Vitale. As a team, they need to improve in this department. Poor team free throw shooting costs a lot of teams' games. Second one is good. And a momentary look from three-point land. Number 32 with the foul. First personal foul. The Blue Devils are a pretty good free throw shooting team, Dick. You'd love to see a team take pride in shooting a high percentage from the line. Second one, no good. Number 25 receives the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Number two is charged with the foul. Makes his first appearance. I tell you, this youngster can provide a spark on either side of the floor, Brad. They will line them up. First shot is no good. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. Got to make the freebies. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. They work it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. They're pushing that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. about ready to hit the floor. Baker handles the pass. Baker fakes the shot. He tries the three ball. Off the mark. Now they work it around the perimeter. Keeps it in, and we've got a change in possession here. They've got him trapped here, Dick. Hey, they got him in some trouble, Brad. On the outside. He shoots from the top of the key. Nails a sweet jumper. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the three. He's clearly full. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Pushes it up. That one finds its way out of bounds, but we'll keep it right here. The offense sets up from the sideline. Goes up for two. He's money with a shot. Moving it around the perimeter. From three-point land. 
I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. He goes up with it. Excellent jump shot right there. The Blue Devils got some good ball reversal there. They're moving the ball with the pass, and in this particular case, it's been more effective than the dribble. It's good. And they come with a double team to stop it. Pushes it up. And now the fadeaway jumper. Jumper won't go. Pushes it up. He pulls up with a jumper and come up short. He fades away. He misses the fadeaway. On the left side, he shoots from the deep corner. Bust the J. That trap could spell some trouble. There's the screen up on top. Now that young guy just can't continue to pick up fouls. They need him in the game. You know, seniors are a dying breed in college basketball these days. If you're a coach that's lucky enough to have a couple, it can definitely help you sleep at night knowing there are guys in your team who know what you want and know what it takes to be successful. And there they miss one. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. On the dribble, gives it up for two. He shows the sweet touch. Puts up the jumper. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? Moore in the post. He puts up the J as we continue to track the game's tempo. Hey, currently the tempo is definitely on the high side, Brad. He shoots the jumper. The missed shot. Number 25 picks up. The layup's good and one, Dick. Hey, that's good concentration. Taking the ball hard to the hoop. Knowing that someone's going to have to. He is going to the line. He buries it. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure in the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Down inside, he tries the jumper and score it. And we're at the eight minute mark. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from outside, scores it. What are some of the things that up-tempo teams will look to do, Dick? Up-tempo teams really like to get possession of that ball off the glass and fill the lanes quickly. They want to be able to create numbers to get a three-on-two, four-on-three, two-on-one advantage. Ball coming in from the sideline. 
Gave it up. Tries for two. Scorches the net. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the corner. Knocked it down. About seven minutes. He makes the block. That goes out of bounds, and we'll stay at this end. So now let's see what they do with the inbounds play on the baseline. Out on the wing. Jumper. They get it to go. Control of the ball. The small forward gets the pass. For the bucket. Drains the shot. Memphis is in the bonus. free throw line misses the first shot this team has got to be so frustrated they are terrible at the free throw line tonight Dick frustration only makes it worse Brad they have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it Stanley handles the feed gets the J to fall Six minutes left on the game clock. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nails a sweet jumper. And there's what the game tempo is looking like tonight. The back and forth action is definitely the reason why we are getting that reading, Brad. The Blue Devils are now in the bonus. Well, this is now one of the better free throw shooting teams in college basketball, that's for sure. I tell you, that's a bad characteristic to have. When you got guys that are brick sitting on the line, it makes the coach lose some hair, baby. A whistle and a foul. Coach not happy on the sideline. Number 25 to the line for two. He missed it. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. Second shot is good. Think right now, got to focus defensively. Bust the jumper. The shooting guard handles the feed. About five minutes remaining. He shoots from the deep corner. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Takes his jumper. Scorches the net with a J. to get it to the inside with the J. Bust the J. Now trying to feed the low block. 
Number 32 is called for the foul. Second personal foul. Well, this is not one of the better free throw shooting teams in college basketball, that's for sure. I think they realize it's a problem, a problem which could cost them some really close games. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Low block and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Nice looking bucket off the break, Brad. We're at the four minute mark. On the left side. Top of the circle. Off the mark. Moore handles the pass. Here's a double team. About 10 seconds left on the shot clock. There's a double team waiting there. Perfectly executed. How about the great job of getting to the basket right there, Dick? I'll tell you, he's really attacking the goal. He's going in fearless, and he's absolutely attacking the defense. And now they'll bring it up. About three minutes remaining. The shooting guard with the ball. And come up short. Trying to go inside. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. They work the perimeter. Goes up for two. He nails the shot. There's the trap. Beyond the arc. Nope. For two. Sinks it. This is the type of guy that can throw the whole kitchen sink at you if you're not careful. They like his game because he can play with his back toward the basket and he can shoot it from 12 to 15 feet. Number 25 handles the feed. Cross court. for two he gets that one to fall the young man cut back door and the pass was right on time that's a bang bang play Brad that's a great cut and an even better pass makes it great pressure great double team really explosive Baker receives the pass Number 25 is whistled for the foul. Second personal foul. Well, this is now one of the better free throw shooting teams in college basketball, that's for sure. I tell you, that's a bad characteristic to have. When you got guys that are brick city on the line, it makes the coach lose some hair, baby. He misses it, and they can't find the rhythm at the line. I see a lot of them rushing their shots, Brad. One minute left on the game clock. Number, he got the layup to go, and the foul is called. Hey, he saw that he was going to get fouled, but he stuck to the path in spite of it. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. Oh, yes. <laughs> no 
Dumps it in. Let's it fly. Perfectly executed. Shot clock is dead. Swatted away. Pushes it up. Goes up for two. Off the glass and no good. Off the glass and no good. Goes for the deep one. Off the mark with that shot. At the half, the Tigers are ahead by two. And here's our game summary. We've seen a lot of action and some impressive play here today. A look at these numbers can give you an idea of who's been doing what. Looks like they're going to go with a full court man-to-man -man press, Dick. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries the three. The missed shot. Jones receives the ball. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. They get it to go. The small forward with the ball. Takes the jumper. Nails the jumper. Working it around the perimeter from way outside. Missed the jumper. For two. The layup is good. They move it into the front court. They'll work it around the arc. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Jumper won't go. That's basic. He unloads a three. Busts the jumper. Double team now. Bad angle. Dumps it in. Number 22. They get it inside and a chance for a three-point play as they score. Opportunity now for an easy one. No doubt about it. The man might be in a little bit of trouble here, Dick. Dumps it in. Goes up. And score it. Up and inside. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. Cross court. He puts up the tray. He misses the J. Might be a ball screen here, Dick. Well, you've got to use that screen. Hey, how to dribble and use the screen is important in a pick and roll situation. Picks up the foot, knocks it home, and one. What a poor job defensively. Nobody stopped the penetration of the ball. He goes to the line. Gets it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Oh, what a high rise. A great vision. The fans love it. What a terrific play. He shoots from left of the circle. Nails a sweet jumper. 
The man might be in a little bit of trouble here, Dick. Moore handles the feed. Dick, they're going to have to sit him down. He gets the tough layup and a foul to go with it, Dick. Hey, that was awesome, baby, with a capital A. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. He may be in some trouble here. Turnover by the freshman. Transition opportunity coming up. Here's a double team. Boyce handles the feed. The freshman has a brain cramp there and commits a turnover. The point guard with the ball. Tries for two. He can't get the bucket to fall. Lobs it. On the outside. He attempts the jump shot. He buries it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Here they go in transition. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. That's a good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Puts up the runner. He missed. Carey receives the pass. Unloads a three. Knocked it down. Very passive, and he paid for it. Wide open look. And they fouled him. Chance for a four-point play. Are you now, kidding me? How bad is that? How bad is that? Chance now. For a four-point play. Sinks it. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. After the timeout, we're all set to pick things up. Try to pack it inside and come up short. Who will win the battle of tempos here tonight? That's what we want to know right now, Dick. Well, Brad, controlling the tempo can be very difficult, especially for the entire game. But if you stick with your strengths and make changes when needed, winning becomes a lot easier. On the left side. For the deuce. With the layup. That was a great delivery on the back cut. Brad, those are the type of reads you look for in practice. Number 32 is called for the foul. Steps to the line for an easy one. Gets the first shot. Misses the second shot. On the right side. Dumps it in. Puts up the J. Bust the J. A 
Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Goes up with a shot. They get it to go. On the left side. With the jumper. He misses the jumper. Goes in. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Baker handles the pass. Puts up the jumper. They got it. With a bucket, gets it to go. A nice job of getting to the hole right there, Dick. I tell you, he's really attacking the goal. He's going in fearless, and he's absolutely attacking the defense. Number 32, and he gets the foul, and the layup will count, Dick. Hey, way to play strong, my man. Way to play strong. Well, this is now one of the better free-throw shooting teams in college basketball, that's for sure. I'll tell you, team free-throw shooting has got to be one of the most underrated statistics in basketball. It's a must if you want to win games at any level. Oh, what a great job transition, offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. The Blue Devils are a poor free throw shooting team, Dick. You have to be able to shoot free throws no matter where or how much you play. Second shot. Dumps it in. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. That trap could spell some trouble. The center receives the pass. Dumps it in. With the fadeaway jumper. Look at that follow through. The missed shot. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Number two gets the pass. He goes up with it. Off the mark. Moore handles the pass. Nobody got back defensively. Rotation was very poor. I think they're trying to make a statement. Once again, let's take a look at our star watch. Chance for two. Makes the first shot. Gets them both to fall. Goes up for two. Well, he'll want that one back. They seem to rotate with perfect precision. Hey, by all means, if a team's defensive effort is going to be successful, they must know how and when to rotate. In the post, he shoots the jumper, busts the J.
He shoots from outside. Jumper won't go. Gave it up. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. One good. Second one is no good. And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line, Dick. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down, Brad. And a momentary look from three point land. Puts it on the floor and up and under. He misses the J. There's the tempo for the game thus far. That's a great indication of how frantic the pace has been, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more. He threw it down and still one to come. He saw that opening and took it right to the rack, baby. I don't even know if he felt the foul. At the free throw line. the dribble gives it up there they come with a double team to stop it Duke is now in the bonus chance for an easy one first one is no good Is it. This team has got to be so frustrated they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. He shoots from the top of the key. Got it. Well, this man's in trouble. They work it around the perimeter. He pulls up with a jumper, scores it. Now they work it around the perimeter. For two, no good from the field. Dumps it in. Jumper knocks it down. On the outside. Tries for two. Was that beautiful or what? Pushing up basketball. Pushes it up. I think that's his fourth foul, and he's going to have to sit for a while. Yeah, they're going to have to decide what to do with him. The fouls are mounted. And they can't afford for him to be on the bench. He goes to the line, shooting two. Misses his first shot. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. Gets his second. The Blue Devils look like they want to use their defense to speed up this game. You know, pressure into the full court is a great tactic if you have the horses. Otherwise, it doesn't make much sense to play full court defense, Brad. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Rims out. Tries for two with a layup. The Tigers might be in a bit of trouble here, Dick. They're an up-tempo team, but they've really got to take their play to another level right now. Well, they like to play an up-tempo style, so they could have a chance. Quick scores and pressure defense may just help their case. 
Looking for a good shot. Rejected. Oh, baby, he showed and telegraphed that baby. And back they come the other way. For the bucket. Can't get it to go. That was nice. Too much. That's a foul. Good teams will get to the line with it, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Second shot. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. Here they go in transition. Oh, and that the dunk and one. Great job of going up strong and through the contact, baby. Opportunity for a three-point play now. Shot, no good. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. Nice pass to the low block. Missed the jumper. Dumps it in. That's a foul. The Blue Devils are a poor free throw shooting team, Dick. You have to be able to shoot free throws no matter where or how much you play. No finish on that one. And, Dick, they just can't seem to find the touch from the line tonight. Well, no time for lessons, Brad. They got to start knocking him down before it's too late, baby. Goes up for two. Lays it up. There's the trap. Moving it around the perimeter. He's all alone. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, go in the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Looking for a good shot. He tries the jumper. He drains the jumper. He takes the shot from the baseline. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. The Tigers are in the bonus. With the free throw. He makes the first. Stanley handles the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Duke is in the double bonus. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. He misses the second. 
This team has got to be so frustrated. They are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. They've got him right where they want him, Richard. Five minutes left in the game clock. For the bucket. Off the glass and no good. Had to go up high with a shot. He misses the jumper. Pushes it. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turn around jumper. They work the perimeter. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Turn around fadeaway. Well, Mr. Vitale, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that could become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounded. I wonder what it will come down to in this game. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Now in transition. Working it around the perimeter. Jumper! Off the mark. He pulls up with a jumper. Rims out. They'll work it around the arc. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. Blocks the shot. On the right side. He shoots from the deep corner. He buries the trifecta. Dumps it in. About three minutes remaining on the game clock. He puts it up. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Stanley handles the pass. Excellent jump shot right there. Basic. Up with the shot. Scorches the net with a J. Time to pick up the defense here now. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. He missed it. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. Man might be in a little bit of trouble here, Dick. For two, off the glass. The shooting guard gets the pass. We're at the two-minute mark. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense. The people in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Well, this man's in trouble. He strips him clean for the deuce. The layup is good. That trap could spell some trouble. Goes in. The lead is five. What happens now, Dick? Well, this is where momentum can swing in your favor or go against you enough to blow your game. He gets the shot to fall. A great trap initiated by the defense. Up and inside. He shoots. Can't put it down. Two with a lay-in.
about a minute remaining in the game clock. He blocks the shot. He misses the J. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Dick, really what goes through a coach's mind during a game like this one? Well, you know, Brad, if these coaches are anything like me, I'd ask the question, what's not going through their minds? They're thinking about everything, scenarios, special situations, sub patterns, sets to run, defenses to play. The list goes on and on. I'm sure they're constantly evaluating the tempo of the game and anticipating what's to come. Well, we'll see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Perfectly executed. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. He may be in some trouble here. On the outside. He shoots from the deep corner. Dick, what they need now is a quick score, right? And use as little time as possible. to get things back going again after the timeout. Shot clock is dead. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick, isn't it a clock management here? At the foul line. He misses the first shot. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar? You too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. He misses his second shot. It's a key possession. They must score here, baby.
I wouldn't mind seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Goes up for two with the layup. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. He misses the second shot. Got to get one on this possession, baby. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And come up short. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Chance to get an easy one here. Set in. to the action now in the half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He puts it up at the horn. He misses the jumper. That completes our coverage of the second round. 
Be sure to return for the finals as we anticipate the best tournament game so far. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. And now let's take a look at our players of the game. A real nice performance by both young guys. Some special, special players.